Good afternoon, P3 students. Today is Tuesday and it's the 12th of May 2020. It's almost your exam. Uh, are you ready? I hope you are ready. So today I'm going to show you one type of your exam, which is um, reading bar graph. So bar graph is something that um, you know, information or data is collected. So today is about um, students' ages. So there are 29 students so here there's no more space so I just uh, do like this but here there you will see there there's an interval of uh, numbers so we have 0 2 4 6 8 and then up until 29 but since there's no space so uh, I just did like that so how about the ages of the students so on this side so here number of students how many students are being asked there are 29 students and here, these are the ages of the students. So here, five years old, six years old, seven years old, eight years old, nine years old, 10, 11, and 12. So out of 29 students, how many of them are five years old? So we'll check. So the line or the graph is in between zero and two. So we know that there is only one, um, student who have or who is five years old how about six out of 29 there are six uh no out of 29 there are how many students that are six years old two how about seven years old how many students there are four how about students that are eight years old one how about um nine years old how many students who are nine years old eight right eight students how about how many students are ten years old there are two how about eleven years old how many students who are eleven years old we have uh, there are four students and how many students that have students that have uh, or are twelve years old there are seven students so again how many students that are asked about their ages there are 29 so uh, how many that are five years old one how many that are six two students how many uh, four how many eight years old one and so on okay so for the questions um, something like this for example uh, question one how many students have uh, how many students are 12 years old so by looking this you will know that there are how many students that are 12 years old so we, uh, the line is not eight right so seven from here oh I meant to have this as seven so you just follow the line and you will, you will know that there are uh, seven students who are 12 years old. Okay, how about how many students are 8 years old? So there are only one, right? Okay, so that's just very easy, right? Okay, so now we'll check how... Uh, with this, you are going to do this one. If you cannot look at it directly, you can make a, like this for you to, uh, I just explain it to you so you will know what to do during the test. Okay, so another question. What ages have two students in each? So, which uh, or oh, years old that has two students each? So we know that this side are the students and this side are the years. They're, they're uh, how old are they? So six and seven. So the option there are in the ten there are options. So uh, option one is it six years old and ten years old that have two students each. So there are two students that are six years old. There are two students that are ten years old. Or option five. Uh, option two five years old or eight years old the answer is so which 
uh, ages that have two students in each. So there is two, two. So the answer is option one. Six years old and ten years old. How about if the question is what ages have one student, uh, one student each? So one, what age is this? Eight. So eight and five years old. So in the option you will see that for question two, the answer is this option. All right, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.